So I've been looking for a new game to play recently, and a lot of people were telling me about Cuphead. And I've been kind of wondering, what makes Cuphead so unique? My name is Seventeen, and I'll be talking about four things that make Cuphead stand out from any other side-scroller. Cuphead is a game developed by two brothers, Chad Moldenhire and Jared Moldenhire, who loved video games as children, but also had a desire for old 1930s cartoons. Cuphead is an interesting side-scrolling adventure it's about two brothers, as shown in the majority of the advertisements for the game, losing a gambling bet to the devil and begging for their forgiveness as he offers them a proposition. He demands that you collect souls for him, and he will forgive you. The hand-drawn characters and watercolor background really bring a lot of the aspects of the game to life. This game has very easy controls and a challenging approach to it that makes it very satisfying. I want to go ahead and answer this in four topics. The first topic I want to talk about is the level design. As in how the enemies come at you, the obstacles, abilities, and how they benefit you. Sometimes a game will throw out random enemies that are in front and behind you, allowing you to utilize some of the other functions like your perks or even jumping over them and shooting down at them. What's great about Cuphead is that they'll punish you for rushing. If I find myself in a rut or frustrated about dying 10 to 20 times, I'll try to rush throughout the stage and it'll usually suffer in a consequence. Don't get me wrong, there are some areas without a doubt you have to rush through, but being impatient will fault in you losing a health point. There are even some obstacles in a game that sort of require you to utilize the right stick, jumping to get the right timing on some of the run and gun stages and boss fights. The hub world that you explore outside the boss battles is so beautiful and crafted so well. It's the same exact sense of quality that the run and gun stages have, where the color brings the environment to life and everything around it. The next topic I want to talk about is the character weapons, how the different combinations of weapons you can use can benefit you along your journey. One useful thing I've seen a couple of speedrunners do is actually swap between weapons as they're shooting. Now I believe this was patched in an earlier update of Cuphead, but this was and kind of still is a good strategy to push out double the damage when either in a boss battle or the running gun stages. My personal favorite combinations are the blue reflector thingies and the pea shooter, just because they have the long range and decent attack power. Using these different combinations of weapons to your advantage will certain your victory. Each of them have their own unique property to them. There's a pea shooter that deals 4 damage and does long range average DPS. The spread shot would deal 1.24 per shot, and if all shots land, you'll deal 6 damage. The chaser, which deals 3 damage per shot, and tracks your enemies. This one is great for taking out ads during boss battles. The lopper, which is great because it deals 11.5 damage and does medium range and good damage. The con to it is that it has a low rate of fire. The charge shot, which deals 6 damage when it's not charged, and 46 damage when it's fully charged. This one does not offer rapid fire. And lastly, the roundabout, which deals around 8.5 damage and has amazing range. Even the airship missions offer different weapons, which doesn't make the gameplay feel too stale for an indie title. Now the third topic I want to talk about is the multiplayer, how they play such a big role on how you actually play the game, how to strategize your attacks and prioritizing the boss battles together can really help you out. What really comes in handy is that every time you die, you turn into this little ghost and you're able to parry your companion and bring them back to life with at least one health point. If you and your partner are really in unison, then you guys can bounce lives off each other. The final topic that I want to cover, and the most important which really makes Cuphead unique in my own opinion, is the boss battles. Cuphead's bosses really focus on how the battles have a unique repetitive nature to them through the various phases as you continue to stack on the damage. They start to throw out different attacks and even change completely. 
the boss battles actually have two different difficulties. Simple, which is obviously like an easy mode, and regular. There's a certain uniqueness to dying over and over and then catching on to the boss's attack pattern and realizing that you're getting better. You start to adapt though sometimes the bosses can feel a bit overwhelming especially when you're going from boss fight to boss fight over and over again it can seem a little repetitive but it does feel like you're learning with every process that you attempt now a really key fun fact that i actually found out is that the frog brothers in the first stage are a significant reference to the street fighters ryu and ken some of their moves consist of different references to their moves Ribby uses a Hadouken style attack toward Cuphead, and when combined into the slot machine, depending on what you roll, you can get one of the following three. Getting three Tigers is a reference to Sagat's fire uppercut. Getting three Bison is in relation to M. Bison. And lastly, getting three Snakes is a reference to Vega's snake tattoo. I think one of the harder challenges is avoiding majority of the airship mission attacks. Sometimes so many of them are coming at you at once, it's hard to keep track of everything at one time and move your character around so much. Now overall, to me what makes Cuphead unique is that Cuphead does the best job at stomping you out and kicking you into the corner but rewards you for it, forcing you to learn and adapt to whatever upcoming situations may stump you. What do you think makes Cuphead so unique compared to some of the other indie titles that are out there? Leave a comment or don't. My name is Seventeen and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.